Hi everybody, it's Cindy. It is Wednesday, April 14th, and I'm back for an update. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're returning, thank you so much. Uh, there's been a lot of new people uh, to my channel, so thank you. Down below in the drop-down box, I have tutorials on how I finish cross-stitch pieces and other things. Those are always in the drop-down box. And let's get started. What have I been working on? So many things. Garden, cross-stitch. I still have my spring stuff out. I love this time of year. Um, I thrive. I've been gone a little while because I've been busy with the garden, building it, putting it together. Things are starting to sprout now. So let's get started. Let's see what I've been working on. Uh, the first pieces I've been working on, this is a new pattern by uh, Satsuma Street by Jody Rice, and this was just released this market, and it's, now it could be Oology or Oology, say it any way you like. <laughs> They're really cute, and I've been doing all the birds. Now I finished three out of the four, and I started my fourth, so I've really been working on these. These do take time. There's a lot of color changes, but they're, they're beautiful. All right, so let's get in close. The, you have the purple bird here, and this is more like a peach, and then you got like the aqua, and which one is your favorite? They are so cute, and I started the fourth one. This is a white, a white bird with the egg. They're beautiful. I highly recommend it. <laughs> Love it. Uh, it's fun to stitch. They do take a while though. Like I said, they do have a lot of color changes. So let me get that out of the way. And let's see here. The next piece I did, this is by uh, Stitching with the Housewives. Uh, this is by uh, Priscilla Bling. And this is, I just wanna make sure that there was no <laughs> pattern. Uh, this is tomato seeds. I love, love, love this pattern. Love it. And of course I did it on my black, 25 count black. And as you can see, let's see if I can get in there. Look at how cute it is. I'm going to be doing a ton of the seed packets. I am a huge gardener, but the tomato seed so far is my favorite. Now I've done a bunch of her um, Valentine ones, but love it on the black. Super cute. So I have those all set up and I have tons of black fabric um, to do a whole bunch more. That was the next thing. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you, I did a full finish. This is by Blackbird Designs and this is called My Pink Rose. And I fully finished it. Now, I, this is a frame from Hobby Lobby. It actually had Winnie the Pooh on it, but it fit perfectly. <laughs> and what I did is I just did it to the top and then I added a little decor on top there. And this actually sits on my fireplace right there. So super cute. Love it. Fully finished. I, I was happy about that. The next two pieces, I actually just finished these today, and one is going to be a giveaway, and one is for me. And let's do that. So this was in the 2005 Just Cross Stitch Ornament, in, uh, duh. <laughs> Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue uh, magazine. This is actually on page, let's see what page it's on. Page 32. Now I did one in blue and one in red and the red one is gonna be a giveaway uh, for next month. So this is the red and it is a mini sampler and it's an ornament and I did the back. It says Cindy's cross stitch. I'm gonna be giving this away uh, next month. I'm giving one cross stitch ornament away each month so if you're new to my channel and if you do want to win this ornament down below in the comments you have to put red house and i will be drawing the winner next month so that's red in blue this one's mine 
and that is same ornament but in blue and this is for me i'm a blue person i love the blue i did brick wrap on this when i finished there's the blue and let's take a look at them side by side so you can see it is amazing how just switching a thread color makes the piece so different so different but the same pattern so I was happy about that. I got a, another piece done for me and one for a giveaway. Now, if you can't find this magazine, I definitely uh, would check with your local cross stitch shop. Uh, online, you could probably find it. Definitely eBay or any of those sites. Uh, and you can see I got sticky notes and stuff all around there. Now, in that same 2005 magazine, and this is on page 34, this pretty kitty. I'm going to be giving that away today. Uh, if you left a comment on my last video, you will be entered in that. And I'll be including that on a slideshow after I show you everything I have. So this one will be given away. And that was from the same magazine. Good to, good to do things. All right, so back from the framers. Okay, so I had never used total framing before, and I hear everybody talking about total framing. You actually mail them the pieces, then they send you a text with four different options for frames. If you don't like them, they'll send you four more. Then they put it together and they mail it to you. Well, I mailed these out in October, and last week, I'm like, you know, I said that, like, I moved another state. <laughs> And I've done so much since then. I kind of forgot about that. Then I'm like, where are my pieces? Like six, six months is a long time. So I actually called Total Framing that morning. The guy who picked up the phone, his name is John. And he's like, hi, is this Cindy DeRosa? I'm like, yeah. Like, how do you know it was me? He's like, I was just going to call you. He goes, I'm packing up your pieces right now. I go, are you kidding me? He goes, no. He goes, I'm serious. I'm like, well, what are the odds? So we were both laughing. And he actually, they were, that was a Monday morning. I called, I got him on Wednesday. It was so quick. Now, this first piece is by uh, Patterns by Brenda Gervais, and it's called Noel. It's gorgeous. Just take a look at this beauty. You could see, actually, you could see the frame pretty good. You can see I have my uh, initials down there. I love, love, love these. It's beautiful. I have two places where I'm going to be hanging my pieces above the mantle. I have spots picked out. I haven't put the nails in the wall because I knew I was going to be showing these on the video. And the next piece is by Rosewood Manor, and this is called Tulips. Now this is even... A bigger piece but look look at the beauty it's gorgeous and see if you could see you could see the detail of the frame it has like scroll work on it it's gorgeous I love 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 them if you want your pieces framed quickly <laughs> you're not gonna get them quickly they're super busy and it's actually good to know that there are businesses out there that are booming and they're months behind on work. I mean, to, that makes me happy. I don't like that they were out of my hands for six months, but they're back in my hands. They're beautifully framed, professionally packed. Um, they send it out UPS. He, he tells, you'll get, he, they tell you exactly when you're going to get it. So total framing, if you've never used them, I highly recommend them. Came out beautiful. What else have I got? I got Happy Mail. I got a couple of Easter things. Thank you so much for thinking of me at Easter. Uh, this is from Amy. Amy Lowe said she saw this postcard and thought of me because yes, I am working in the garden out there. It's, it's a lot of work, but I did all the hard work and it will be paying off. Uh, the next card that I got, this is the Easter card and this is from Sarah. And Sarah included, it says Easter blessings. In gold, so if you can see that there. 
There you go. And she sent me um, packs of seeds, a couple of flowers. Thank you so much, Sarah. I will be using these. I'm going to be doing a lot of potted plants this year, so I will be experimenting with that. And then for my sister Cheryl, she sent me this Easter card. Now, this is from Love Pop Online. Uh, she sent me the blue J card. She sent me this happy Easter card. And look, you open it up and it's three dimensional. It's beautiful. They're very expensive. They're laser cut, but this was sitting on my desk. And of course, these cards, I would, I don't throw away any of the cards. I put them in a, a box, but this one sits out. I got my, my little bunny rabbit there. So definitely cute. They, they do all kinds of designs. They have Disney and every theme, and it's called Love Pop. Lovepop.com if you want to look that up. Um, I don't get paid. I'm just telling you what I'm buying. I did get a couple more patterns. Sorry for me leaning over here. I got stuff around. But I got a couple of patterns in that I ordered, and these were from Market. I, had, I didn't get a lot of them, but I did get some of them. And this is the blue flower. This is Trudy. Tudor Bee, and this is with the Bumblebee. I don't know if it's this or Ulogy, one of my favorite patterns from Market, but I love them. I want to do them all, but I listen, I, I really haven't had a lot of stitching time lately. I am outside more than I'm in at this time of year. The next thing I ordered, I don't know if this is from Market or not. Um, it's 2021 Collector's Heart by Heart and Hand. I just love this heart. Let me see if I can get a good picture there. There you go. And it comes with the, um, you know, you got your linens and you got your finishing jewels. And um, super cute. And the next one I got is, uh, this is with a needle. Wonder Gervais, of course, this is samplings number two. I think a lot of people have been getting these and of course it comes with uh, the fabric in there with the alphabet on it. I think that's really cool. And then you, you know, finish eggs. I'm doing a lot of eggs in spring. And then the last pattern is uh, Gathering Clover. This is Luminous Fiber Arts Misty Purcell. And I just love the green. Now you could do it in any color you want. It doesn't have to be green, but those are the things that I have picked up. Now, I did take a trip uh, during Easter. I went to North Carolina. I went to the Biltmore Estates to see the garden. I absolutely love that garden. Tulips galore. I'm definitely gonna be including a lot of pictures, slideshow at the end of everything I saw at the gardens. I've been walking every day a lot. I've been seeing a lot of butterflies, which makes me happy. And I'm not talking little butterflies. I'm talking big butterflies, monarchs. And, um, and I was actually able to capture a couple of pictures. It's been very hard getting the pictures. Like they're, they're fast. I'm like, stop, stop, don't move. Um, I'm telling you this one day, I think they just let me take their picture. They were being kind to me that day. So I do have some great photos uh, to show you at the end there. I am out and about the garden. I put in all, you know, all the bricks, all the soil. I planted all my seeds, uh, all kinds of sunflowers and marigolds and daisies and zinnias. The little greens are popping up along it makes me so happy. They're growing. <laughs> and to see a little green buds coming up in the garden is exciting. I can't wait to share those when they are all uh, blooming out there. It, it's really exciting. Oh, there's one other thing I wanna show you. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back, I had to go get it. On my last video, I was telling about a hike that me and my son did up in the mountains um, a couple weeks ago. And I forgot to show on that hike, I found, let's see if you can see it. It's a heart-shaped rock. Now it's, it's not perfect, but it is definitely a heart-shaped rock. So I picked it up and it actually sits over by my fireplace. <laughs> it's down below, so I had to 
it's through the side and get it. So I did find a uh, heart shaped rock, which on the oh, every time I look at it, I think of the uh, hiking trip that we did. It was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to more adventures over the summer of more hiking and uh, going out and about. Um, I have a lot of nature by me, so I'm lucky in that sense. Uh, during this, well, between Easter and now, um, I have been taking a week's break. I start a new job on Monday, and that's why I'm doing a video on a Wednesday. I typically don't do videos on Wednesdays. Um, at my last position, I was there a little over a year, and uh, I had asked, hey, you know, when are we going to do my review and things like that? And they said they never heard of a review. I'm like, okay, this is not a good sign. I was definitely their top worker, did a, a lot for the company. And after doing the review and asking for a raise, they had said, uh, well, you know, we really don't have the money right now. But meanwhile, they bought two new businesses and they're building a bed and breakfast and they couldn't give me a raise. So that was it, I, I was done. <laughs> I'm a hard worker, I know I could get another job. But I literally uh, put my uh, Indeed and LinkedIn, I had three job offers in like a day or two. So it is actually a very good time to find another job, making way, way more than I was making full benefits. Um, I'm super excited to start the new job. Nobody really likes starting a new job and starting again. So in 2021, not only did I move to a new state, buy a new house, I'll be starting a new job. <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> and the reason why I'm sharing this is if anybody's going through anything right now, it always works out in the end. Never let anybody take advantage of your skills and your talent ever. And I, there was no way I was, um, I just couldn't even work there anymore. It's, it, I loved my manager. She's super sweet, but the owner just doesn't care about any of his employees. And I cannot work for someone like that. Um, I want to be appreciated for the hard work that I put in every day. And I know they're going to miss me. I know my manager misses me already, but it is what it is. So if you're going through it, there are a ton of jobs out there. Literally, I didn't even have, I, it's the easiest job I've ever gotten. I didn't even look for it. They contacted me. I had two other companies contacted me. It was actually hard for me to pick what company to go with. So if you're going through it right now, listen, you are more than worthy. You go get what is good for you. At the end, I'm gonna be including the winner of Pretty Kitty, the ornament. If you win, my email address is below in the drop down link. Send me an email with your address and I will get that out to you right away. And lots of garden to share, lots of beautiful flowers. I hope you enjoy uh, the show at the end. And until we meet again, everyone, happy stitching and happy spring. We are gonna use the random comment generator for the winner of the cat ornament. So let's go and see who wins Pam Lacey Pam you wrote a whole lot there you are the winner of the cat ornament I know you it's funny when you see a name that somebody always uh, leaves definitely send me your address I'm not sure if I have you in my address book again the winner is Pam Lacey uh, thank you so much for everybody uh, for joining and if you do want to win the uh, new ornament for next month, just put in Red House. Thank you and have a great day. Hey everybody, I'm going to show you a part of the front garden. The seedlings are starting to come up. Uh, in this pot are hot peppers. I'm going to do a lot of uh, potted things this year. And you can see all the way down the garden, but look. Look at all the baby sprouts coming up. These are all zinnias, sunflowers, and of course under, these are the birdhouses. You got a lot of the sunflowers are growing, and this is all the way down. I can't even tell you how excited. I only planted these a week ago, and that goes all the way down the garden.
Look at all the little green. It's going to be so pretty. I'm super excited. There's Mr. Bonnie. I have uh, seeds planted in this big planter. I have seeds planted in this big planter. Nothing coming up, but I'm going to take you to the side garden. I definitely have little seedlings coming up there already. This is the side garden. As you can see there, there's little seedlings. And that goes all the way down. Uh, they're hard to see over here, but they are coming up too. And I'm excited about the gardens this year. If you look up into here, you can see I'm doing a lot of potted things. Those are my herbs, my peppermint, my oregano, my rosemary, my thyme. Got basil in that big pot. That other big galvanized tin is my lettuce. So those are all grown. I've been working today, so you can see these pots are still empty. Now this is inside my kitchen and you can see my my windows go floor to ceiling all the way up. And you can see at this table, I sit here. This is one of my favorite spots in the house. I got my butterfly planter with rosemary in there. I sit and eat. And as I look out, you can see my bird feeders are probably three feet away. It's an awesome view. I watch them every time I eat. They fly in and out. Uh, one of my favorite spots in the house and I just got this little outdoor table I bought this at Lowe's it's an outdoor table but cute little spot for the kitchen right next to my table is this big baker's rack and up top as you can see I got oh I got my aloe I got my basil the basil and rosemary smells so good I love the smell of it um my planters are super cute with the butterflies on it. I got those at TJ Maxx. And of course, right above where I sit is my sunflower. This planter is in my living room. This is where I had my Easter and Ray Dunn stuff on here for Easter, and it is a planter. These tables come off, so I took the top one off. And I got my succulents, if you be kind, and my aloe there. Well, that's by my front door. This plant is over um, by my desk where I work. Where I work, I, I look out two huge windows, just like in the kitchen. I have that in my living room, and that's where I work all day. I love this plant. This is like, it's my baby. <laughs> and I'm going to show you one more big plant I have in my bedroom. Now, I'm on my way out to the bedroom. As you can see, I still have... Um, my Christmas plant on the left, my other plant on the right. I do love my plants. I still have some Easter out. A lot of it I did take down. As you can see, I have Noel, which I'll be showing in the video. We'll zoom up. This is my fireplace and display. I will be hanging the new pieces, but let's head to the bedroom. This is in the corner of my bedroom. It's it's really big and uh, lily. It's a lily. It's big. It's green. It's lush. I love it. I love this plant too. I do love my plants and that is an update on the garden and the plants I have in my house. I'm always going to be adding. A lot of people are excited about seeing my garden grow, and so am I. And to see those little sprouts this week is such a treat. Happy stitching, everyone.